single head. Actually, he fought wall head and head back to back. How's that? Double the head. I know Chris Jones likes that. Up to you, Chris. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is being brought to you tonight by Davis Family GNC in Brandon, Florida. For all your supplement needs and for the personal attention you deserve, it's Davis Family GNC, 616 Oakfield Drive in Brandon. And right now, let's meet the fighters. In the blue corner, he's a kickboxer and a wrestler. He stands in at six feet tall, and he weighed in at 178.5 pounds. Tonight, he brings a professional record of 15 wins and eight defeats. Representing LA Boxing, Gilbert Grappling in Choke 5 from Portage, Indiana, please welcome John Colossi! And his opponent, standing across the cage in the red corner, this man is a wrestler. He stands in at six feet tall, and he weighed in at 179.5 pounds. His record, he brings in as a professional, 14 wins against seven defeats. Tonight, he represents American top team out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Please welcome Ryan, the Tank Engine, Thomas. Our referee in charge, Chris Adams. Fighters to the center of the cage, please. Now you remember the rules we went over earlier. Obey my commands at all times. We're both professionals. I expect you to act accordingly. Any questions, blue. Any questions, red. Look them up and let's do this. Final instructions from referee Chris Adams. We are ready for three rounds of action between Ryan Thomas and John Colossi. Thomas, who has been working diligently on his Muay Thai, wrestling is his foundation. He says now that... Right. His jiu-jitsu and his right. Muay Thai is actually quite right. with his wrestling, whereas he used to be just a wrestler. Let's see what it comes down to here. Outside leg kick early on from the tank engine. A lava cut from Colossi. And the tank engine takes him down inside half guard here. Good position, nice uppercut by Colossi. He stuck it there nice and hard, but unfortunately, as we together, Thomas took him down very easily. When you attack somebody like that, you gotta keep a good stance, otherwise you get taken down by a superior wrestler. Colossi wants to get this one on his feet. His trademark, the overhand right. Little leg head kick that he switches up on quite nicely. But at the moment, Thomas keeping him on his back, inside half guard. You know, Frank, for all they say, they work on the Muay Thai, it always comes back to the good old wrestling. Yeah, it's, it's, honestly, it's the middle game. Wrestling is the middle game, the control portion of the sport. Obviously, the striking and the grappling. Well, the two ends of it, the other side, wrestling is the middle game. We have to control the wrestling to win most of your fights nowadays. Everybody's gotten so much better than when, than when the fight started 15, 20 years ago. Trying to pin the arm there with the left knee. Watch Thomas. Colossi looking for a way back to his feet here. He's got his head. He's underneath the chin. He's got his hips in. And he finds a submission here at the tank engine in the first round. Good job at Colossi digging one hand, grabbing hold with both wrists, you know, one hand grabbing hold and pushing it off and getting out of there. But unfortunately, left his head up again, he's back and caught on the other side now. He controlled the right hand, now he's caught the left hand. His head's getting caught, he's starting to turn in. Thomas doing a good job of keeping his hips in there nice and tight, lifting the head up a little bit. Now Colossi is being forced to wrestle. It's a good thing by, by Ryan. He's forcing John to have to wrestle him now. This is where Ryan wants to this fight. In a battle, a grinding match with Adam Ethan. Colossi. Back up to one knee momentarily. Now back down on two. He's got that right leg tied up on the tank engine. Hammerfist strikes here from Thomas. And Colossi dialing the phone, protecting the side of the head. And you can hear the corner here of Ryan Thomas saying, Patience, Ryan. That's exactly what he's exhibiting here in the first round. Well, it's up to the referee saying something here, Thomas. Ooh, elbow. Trying to lock his ear off. Calls for the knee. Colossi, though, protecting the side of the head once more. He's got to get out of here, Colossi. Do you feel that Colossi, that cold he suffered over the last week and having to cut so much weight in two days, Frank, is affecting him here? It does look a bit, yeah. a bit fatigued, a bit lethargic. Yeah, trying to cut 14 pounds in two days, any, any size is bad. It's, it's getting more, much more difficult the older you get. But he really didn't, I don't think he recovered from that weight cut yesterday. 
Double underhooks here. Now just the one underhook from Colossi. Throws the knee to the rim cut. I gotta be honest with you, this is not the class I saw. I was doing tapes, this is not the class I saw coming forward. We're pushing the pace, it's much slower. Colossi, who made his pro debut way back in 2003, went 7 and 3 in his first 10. You may remember him from season 6 of The Ultimate Fighter. Oh, he tried to line up that right hand for the draw of Thomas, and Thomas takes him down again. Colossi is looking for something here, Frank, but it's not going to work from this position. He's caught, he's, he's holding onto the head really for defense more than trying to push a submission. He's going to try and get his legs out of his hips away, but Thomas has got his hips in too tight. He's pushing his body. Thomas just pushing down on that right wrist, now gets free. Nicely done from the tank engine. One minute twinkie remaining here in the first round. A lot of swelling around the right eye of John Colossi. Thomas gets back to his feet, wants to keep Colossi on his back as much as he can. Throws a knee while Colossi is in the genuflect position. Now Colossi back up to his feet. Double leg here from Thomas. Constant pressure. This is this is old school wrestling MMA. Where a guy like Brian Thomas is staying on top. Constant pressure. Every position changes right back into wrestling again. And then beating you up in the middle of it. Scoots around, takes the back, puts one hook in here. Ryan Thomas He's trying to sink a choke from behind. He's got 43 seconds to do so here. Plus he's got good, good back defense. He'll tap the arms, he'll tap the hips, he'll keep it, keep it hard. Oh, he's got his arm caught now. This is a very dangerous position for Colossi because one of his arms is underneath. He's got a reverse triangle. He's being caught in this. Ryan's got a good position. If he can get a little bit more extension with his legs. And Thomas find it with 20 seconds remaining. That gap right there with behind his knee. There's a little bit gap right there behind the knee. Oh, yes! He locks up moisture, seals in freshness, and it's good night on. First round victory with 15 seconds remaining. Brian Thomas has done it again. When, when I circled it, I said all he has to do is turn his body a little bit and that, that gap behind the knee will disappear. He'll be able to get the finish and right when I was going to it, that's exactly what happened. Velocity turned in to get, get the escape and got caught. He made the move tighter as a result. He has to tap out from it. Great position. He's rolling. There's a little gap right there behind the knee. You can't really see it. There's a little gap in there. All he needs to do is roll a little bit more. There it is. It's tied it out. The gap is gone behind the knees, able to finish the triangle choke from the top side on reverse. Great position. Great, great tenacity really by Ryan Thomas to, to say that his wrestling, uh, his BJJ and his blue tie is cut up with his wrestling. It has. And his wrestling is still his superior, his superior <laughs> technician. Uh, absolutely. I'm not saying that his blue tie is BJJ is bad, but his wrestling is still way ahead of the game. Friends, what was the undoing of 37 year old Chong Colossi here tonight? Personally, from the video I've seen on him, the tapes I've watched on him, I really think it was the fact he cut too much weight too late. He really tried to cut too much weight off. He needs to adjust his diet, get his weight a little bit closer, stay within, you know, six, eight pounds. He's not cutting half as much that weight. Don't try to cut 14 pounds. Try to cut seven to eight pounds instead. Disappointment for Colossi. Jubilation for the tank engine. Colossi with his trainers, Danny Gilbert, Patrick Robinson, Nick Wayne. Celebrations in Portage, Indiana tonight. Let's go up to Christopher James to put it in the record books. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Chris Adams calls a stop to this fight at four minutes and forty four four minutes and forty six seconds of round number one for your winner by tap out due to a body triangle. Ryan, the tank engine, time.